My name is Anne, and I am 50 years old. I live in Portland, Oregon, and I was diagnosed with TIO in June of 2019. I am a college professor, and I teach in humanities. I have three wonderful kids and a husband. We have a wonderful dog named Maisie, who we all adore. We like to go out and get into nature. We're big fans of the beach. When I started experiencing symptoms, um, I can remember uh, there's two things that stand out in my memory. The first thing is that I was telling my nephrologist, which is a kidney doctor, that I've just never been more tired in my life. That I just would hit a wall at about five o'clock at night. And then the other problem that I noticed was that if I did a really big workout, like if I was walking up a hill or something really, really hard, uh, that's hard for me, I would also basically be incapable of, of moving forward. When my symptoms were at their worst, um, I would say it was very alarming to wake up every morning. Um, my muscles were becoming increasingly weak and that meant that it was harder to walk. It was very hard to stand. And I was so weak that I didn't think that I could do anything. It took a, a full year for them to figure out what was going on with me. It was incredible to go through this experience um, of trying one route and then another route and then another route. I went through a truly staggering number of specialists <laughs> insofar as um, I was seeing a nephrologist and then I also was um, seeing a pulmonologist because they were wondering if it was something with my lungs when I was getting um, so winded or tired when exercising. I had a check out with a cardiologist, but they also for a while were thinking about the GI tract, so I had a gastroenterologist. <laughs> when I was first diagnosed, I actually was really happy about it. Now, a year later, after I've had three scans, and they haven't found the tumor yet, but at the time, and I think now too, I realized that knowing that it's something that could possibly at some point in the future um, be removed and thus I could go back to normal is a is is a hopeful thought at least. The most challenging mental aspect of living with TIO is absolutely for me the total loss of control over your existence. But the one thing that I've learned and so what I would advise to someone is one, keep pushing until you can get a diagnosis. I think the lesson I've learned is you have to keep moving no matter what. No matter how weak you are, you have to keep moving. The more that I educated myself, the better. So I think there's a little bit of humility required, which is to say that you can't assume you know more than the doctors, but then there's also a little bit of assertiveness required, which is to say asking those questions to make sure that you get the answers that you need, but also the advocacy that you need. You're in the midst of a massive crisis, so you need to forgive yourself for whatever you do or don't do wrong because you, you, you're trying to juggle things that are just inexplicable and you've lost control of your life and you don't know what to do. A good day for me is a day where I can do all of the exercise that I want to do. It makes me feel so much better and if I can take the dog on two walks or do one walk and a yoga class, that's a huge victory for me. Um, and so the good days are the ones where I can do some of the things that make me feel, for lack of a better word, normal, whatever this new normal is. Uh, bad days are days where I just can't function very well and where I'm just, um, you know, needing to lie down or needing to rest more. Um, and so the bad days are just the ones where I have to accept that it's not going to work out the way that I might have hoped that it would work out. I think it's okay to say it really, really, I'm having a really hard time. But even within that to say, are there things I could do, little things I could do to make it better? Um, to, to start to make it better. And that's where I think, you know, that's, that's the balance you have to achieve between accepting and still trying to make things better if you can.